it seems. The only constant is the speed of light. Uh, and you can see the graphs. You can see the shape that space and time has. If you go to our Facebook or No Idea and, and check those out, there's good descriptions there. And again, if you want to tell us what your ideas on energy is, I would love to know, and we'll give you some free stuff. Uh, now, we're joined in the studio. He just walked in. 2100, say hi, man. Stoked to have you in, finally. I've been trying to get you in. I see you busking on the street all the time, and this guy's killer. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. How are you guys? It's good to be here. Yeah, awesome. Wait, that's 2100. I've seen this guy so many times, man. There you I'm go. a fan. Yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He is amazing. Now, um, I listened to a, a uh, an interview you had on Triple Z uh, a short time ago. Yeah, or, maybe less than two months ago. Now, they... You covered some really great stuff. I actually learned a little bit myself listening to that from you. And and how long how long have you been you know musicking for? Like, how long have you been in the music sort of? Uh, I started playing started playing music probably towards the end of high school. Yep. And I uh, was uh, playing bass and drums. I grew up in um in like a church community. So my okay. dad's a minister. Right. And, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So I, I started playing playing with my younger brother. He was a he's a really great songwriter and guitarist and stuff like that. Was, right. So you come church. from a musical family. Um. Yeah. Well, I was I was I was a little bit late late bloomer in it. I mean. Uh. Yeah. It's very. My dad's very musical. My brother's very musical. But they're very. Um. It comes really easy to them. Like yep. To the point where they couldn't explain what they were doing. They could just do it. They could just do it. Okay. And yeah. So that was my nature. concept of music. Like, uh, it wasn't until I was probably nearly 18 that I understood that you could practice something and learn yep. it. My idea about everything was if you couldn't do it straight away, you didn't have the gift. Okay. So you know, it was like this yes. new concept to me that it was like, oh, you mean I can do anything? Like yep. it was like I don't know. I had this sort of awakening moment. It was like so. There was a few things in my life that I was good at that I was naturally sort of could pick up quickly. So yep. I was like, oh, I can do this. Um, but I always wanted to do music, but it didn't come straight away for me. You had to so, work at it. Hone yeah, your skill had, in. exactly. Sure. And so um, yeah, once that sort of flip was switched for me, where it was like, oh, okay, I can, I can do this like, yep. and it just like I won't do it the first time but if I spend an hour at it I'll get the hang of it and, yeah, and, yeah, you know, and then I'm practice. an hour better or whatever then the obsession sort of started That's and it. I started just sort of just wanting to tinker with anything musical like picking up keyboards or horns or anything and I mean I haven't become like proficient at all of them but um drums drums mainly became sort of a Big, big obsession for okay, me. Okay, yeah, you truck. mentioned in that other interview, I'll, I'll post that a link to that on our Facebook as well because there's some yep. really interesting stuff there. I encourage you listeners to go and check this out because uh, I'm fascinated with the stories of how successful musicians uh, become successful. And you definitely, in my mind, are, are on your way up. If not, like you're kind of at the top. Like you have, yep. you get gigs around the place, and, and you really have this air around you of just you oh, know what you're you. doing. And it, yeah, <laughs> no, it's it's awesome, man. It, it's really really cool. cool. And it's it's inspirational, you know. <laughs> And if, like, you're one of those people who couldn't put a name to her face, because, like, um, earlier when the professor told me that 2100 was coming in, I had no idea who was coming in. Little did I know, it was the same guy that I'd seen, like, every single week for, like, the last couple of years, I believe. Um, if you go to the Ari or the Valley, um, probably just around the corner from the family in the Valley, just around that corner, you see some guy just smashing on his drums. That's this guy. Yeah. Now, I have, I have two questions. Firstly, where did you get the name Twenty One Hundred? Yeah. Um, well, it's it's sort of it was three stories that kind of came together. Um, I I was just telling people what my name was. I didn't I, I didn't have any plans to be a rapper or an MC. Um, I actually just wanted to be a session drummer. That's right. what. So I, you're like, yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm Michael Casey. I'm yeah. Michael Casey. Yeah. And um, it just sort of all kind of happened. Um, I I went out busking. I needed some money. I went out busking, um, and I started out just playing uh, percussion. Yep. Um, then I started to rap along to the percussion, mm -hmm. and I would just do old school raps that I knew and everybody knew. I'd drop a Biggie Smalls rap or a Will Smith yep, rap yep. or a Tupac rap or something like that. Will something Smith I knew the lyrics rap. to, and people <laughs> loved it. And it was like, so that was kind of cool. And um, and then I started just, uh, I started freestyling. I just started just talking about people as they were walking past, and that's when things really started to take off. Okay, and, yeah. Um, it was freestyle was this kind of thing was another thing that I didn't think that I could do. And well, this is my next question. Yeah, you you you, you do this freestyle vocal. Yeah, you're 
amazing at it. And and even just standing next to you on the street, you'll just I'll walk by and immediately I'm a part of your yeah. your rhymes, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's so dynamic and and it's hot in the moment. It's, it's great. just capturing. And like it just captures you from the side. Yeah. You're just like walking along and like the the guy in this dress, this <laughs> shirt, or the chick yeah. in this dress, and then they just come strolling over straight away. They like just do this massive arc around him and they just come straight back. Yeah, and that's something that I. I really love about it, and it, and you you do it so well. There's got to be what do you really what got you to start thinking about doing that? Was it well, did it develop, or did you go? Oh, I want just, to be able to well, do this. What happened was I actually got there was a um he must have been like a local rapper or something. I don't know who he is. Yeah, but he <laughs> Mr X it, Mr point. X uh, had had a few drinks, was listening to what I was doing, and. Uh, was indignant at the fact that I was rapping other people's raps and he was not happy about this. Okay, so I, he yeah. told me that I needed to rap my own lyrics and he, <laughs> he, said, he was very forceful in the way that he wanted to um, uh, let me know that I should be doing my own lyrics. And at first I just was kind of like, who are you? Like, I'm kind of just doing my thing. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm not trying to be a rapper. But I also... Um, I don't know. Anytime someone challenges me, it's like this seed gets set of obsession. Okay. And it sort of it sort of stuck with me. And um, I had a friend. Um, if you've ever been to the press club on a Thursday night, yeah, man, boss. Yeah, boss. Yeah. If you've seen boss, um, and I, I actually started the the boss Thursday nights. Right. Okay. Yeah, so I, I, I remember put that sort of. They were like together. almost an open jammy night, yeah, wasn't it? When at it some first stage. started, and I got I got roped in um, by one of the guitarists who was there playing one night. Yeah. Um, his name's Timmy, and he yeah. he brought me along to All One Word and told yeah. me about that, and that's how I kind of started to get to know everyone on cool. the scene and stuff, you know. And next thing I started busking, and it all kind of worked. But awesome. So, so yeah, so I sort of started that. that, and I started the jam at All One Word. Yeah. Um, and but the 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 MC that I brought in to start with, Boston, he's doing amazing things now and is yep. like he's and he's always been amazing yeah like, it's roman um, hey, he's roman just, roman albert yeah. so he's phenomenal at freestyle and i sort of just i i asked him i said hey man can you teach me how to freestyle and he yeah. came to my house and we we spent about an hour and a half and i i couldn't do it okay like, <laughs> yeah. he was awesome yeah. and i like to the point it was just like grinding halt like i would like nothing came out. It yep. was just like dead air. I couldn't think of a single thing to say. <laughs> Your brain freezes brain up. Brain freezes. Yeah. But he he gave me he gave me three tips, and with those three tips, he said, "Just think about that." So it sat in my head, and I went out that night and I utilized those three tips, and I went from being able to do nothing to, I think I went maybe three or four hours pretty much straight. Okay. Wow. Would those tips make sense to people who are not freestyling hip hoppers? Um. Well. Yeah, no. I'll, I'll, if I'll there do, are I'll any do a listening. blog or something one day okay, and I'll, blo- I'll break all right. it all down for people okay. sometimes. It's, it's a bit too much to go into now. But to get back to the question about the 2100 name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what happened was um, the the first the first thing that happened, I before I had a name or anything, I had um, I, I was doing a massive freestyle session um, and it it was just like just kept crescendoing and crescendoing and crescendoing. It was just getting bigger and yeah. the crowd was getting massive. And um I ended up I, I was standing on my box and, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. and like and just all this money was pouring in and it was amazing. And this one little kid kinda came in at the last five minutes and I'd gone for like two hours straight. And this kid had come in at the last um the last minute or two and like he was like that was awesome man like you were free that was freestyle I was like, yeah. yeah that was freestyle he was like how many bars can you freestyle and so if you know anything about music like um you divide up into bars yep. like yep. um like so the count of the beats like one two three four and that four counts is one bar right so he wanted to know how many bars i could do and i kind of looked at him puzzled because i was i just couldn't even fathom yeah, i just yeah, did two yeah. hours yeah so he um he was like my mate can freestyle 16 bars straight and i like thought about it and um i had a little i had my loop pedal and i could see the tempo on it was 70 bpm and i worked it out in my head that 70 bpm times 120 minutes yep. was 2100 bars right so i looked at him and i was like about 2100 <laughs> and he just had this That's dumbfounded awesome. look on his face that yeah. was just priceless yeah and um yeah i just thought that, that was awesome and then um there's another story but it's a long one but the third thing i realized that my initials 
were Michael Monroe Casey MMC, right. which is twenty one hundred in Roman numerals. No kidding. And so when the three Man, things, see, yeah, man. when the three things came together, and I was like, I was trying to think of a name, and it just fit, and it just sounded nice when it rolled off my tongue. Yep. And then when I wrote it, it does, out with man. the twenty one, yeah, with the, the the two and the one and the word hundred, when I put yep. it all together. I was like, that looks cool. Felt cool. I had always, I knew I was always gonna have this story in my back pocket if I ever had to come on the radio. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty great. That's, that's why I asked, man. Because I saw your Facebook page change to twenty one hundred, and I was like, damn, that's cool. I was like, that, that's the kind of catchy name that an artist wants for himself. Yeah. And and, the, and that it happened organically it makes it so much more meaningful. I think it's Thank a pretty sick so. origin story. It's a sorry. It's, it's a pretty sick origin story. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's not animantium bones. But. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But I mean, you didn't <laughs> quiet. You didn't sit there and go, okay, I'm just going to make something up. You know, it was it was organic, and that's something because like, I I play a bit and I bask and it, in my own sort of music world. What am I going to call myself? This question. I want to know, like, how how does it happen? And I found organic nicknames or things, even in just social groups, they mean so much more. You know, people totally. remember that, and for it to be as catchy as what you've got. Yeah, people, you don't forget 2100, you know, especially if you see you're playing, man. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> Thank look, you. We'll, we'll jump into some music and we believe you might have something for us. So. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I can jump back and we'll, we'll do a freestyle or something. All right, we'll see, we'll see what we can do. This is Blank Realm Cleaning. 